Hi, my name is Angela Alvarenga and I'm here with ID8 TV and we're here with Lisa Marie Varen and we would like to ask you what inspired you to get into wrestling? Well, um, a lot of people don't really know Lisa Marie, so I'm, I'm formerly known as Victoria from WWE, formerly known as TNA Tara, but um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, what got my... I was really addicted to working out because I was in the medical field before and I started teaching aerobics mm -hmm. and then that was, you know, it's really hard on your body, your joints and stuff. And then I started lifting weights. My body transformed in four months and I just started competing and um, accident um, that I got into wrestling just because I was into the health and fitness world and competing and I was always an athlete, tomboy. Um, it was a great transition to get into wrestling. Um, I met Tori Wilson, um, we competed together, and then China. Um, they actually kind of opened the door for me, you know, to get in the business. So I got lucky. I, it was a silver platter for me, oh. you know, it was, it was I, I, and I'm very blessed. I don't want to be not appreciative. I know I got handed a gift, uh -huh. you know, so. That's yeah. amazing. How do you feel about the health movement that's happening now? It's bizarre, like Tori Wilson has her own fitness, um, you know, her page too. Um, my, my old trainer, Joey Thurman. Um, I like the healthy versions. I don't like the drastic dieting, you know, like cutting out carbs, which my girlfriend's doing right now. Um, she's a good friend of mine. And I don't want to be that friend to tell someone how to eat and stuff like that. But I don't like the drastic, because you know, what happens when you start eating carbs again? You blow up, right? So I just thinking, you, you have to know what to do, it, you know, eating healthy, not eating like certain fatties, like fats and stuff like that. It's kind of common knowledge. So there's not really a miracle how to lose weight and get in shape. You know what I mean? You know what to do. Cut out the cake and yes. the cookies. I understand. And alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're too young, yeah. right? I'd like to think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your belt? Yes. Um, I, I owned a restaurant in Chicago. It was, um, you know, it's called the Squared Circle. And one of the customers asked me, uh, where's your belt on the wall? And I was like, oh, they don't give you a belt when you leave. M my customer made it for me, Mike. Yeah, so it's, I like to say it's beautiful. Custom. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Isn't, I, I did cry when I received this. Um, that's how, it's kind of baffling, like being a wrestler, you know, cause you kind of live in, live in your own, bubble and you don't realize who you touch and stuff like that until you meet fans at these kind of comic cons and they tell you I watched you when I was this you're when you know I was a kid oh my gosh you were part of this generation and it's like you really like wow I'm in a, a world that we you know it's like cult following but it's like it's really cool yeah. you know yeah. yeah yeah speaking of being at a comic con how do you feel being at this comic expo it's my first time here I know. At the, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. For me, I'm dying to go look around, but I'm on a budget too. You know what I mean? So I, I tend to lose money on these things because I, I like Star Wars. You know, the, I like the backpacks. I like Ninja Turtles. The Power Rangers are here. But it's like, you know, like Rikishi's behind me. And it's like a reunion. We get to see old friends. So this is not work at all. You know, you get to chit chat with fans, talk about wrestling, and then make new friends. Like this. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank it you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.